I'm a little bit worried about our drought here across the state. We have a little bit of rain in the forecast, but some of these storms could potentially create more hazardous fire conditions for us. But right now it is 99 here in Salt Lake City, Ogden 98, Provo 94. We ended up reaching 100 degrees today and love this picture from Representative Tim Hawks. This is a drought proud lawn hashtag drought proud and he was asking people to join in and throw one of those signs up let your neighbors know that you're not just being lazy you're doing it for a good reason as you're letting those lawns go brown or yellow but temperatures are so hot today it's still around 100 degrees here for the wasatch front st george currently 102 and for your commute tonight upper 90s for salt lake and tomorrow morning in the 70s so tomorrow afternoon a little bit cooler than today and we're also going to see increasing moisture from the south. So for today, the main thing I'm watching for you is a few clouds that have drifted into southern Utah, along with some very gusty winds. Overnight temperatures will be about 65 to 75 degrees tomorrow morning for the Wasatch Front 50s for Park City, St. George around 80 tomorrow morning. Then we'll start seeing some increased chances for mostly high base showers. However, heading into Thursday and early Friday, we'll start seeing some better chances for some of that rain to make it to the ground. So let's go ahead and look at this feature cast for you. By tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., we're going to start seeing a few of those showers drifting in from the southwest, mostly into Nevada. And then by later tomorrow night, especially southeastern Utah and Nevada, and then along the Wasatch Front, we'll start seeing a few sprinkles possible. And then we're going to see that turning over to a better chance for that rain to actually make it to the ground early Thursday morning. So tracking uh, quite a bit of activity here across the region. Some of these will be high base showers and the main threats will be dry lightning and some gusty outflow winds. And of course, the concern there is uh, some wildfires could be started by some of that lightning. So we're going to look at this rain projection for the next week and the majority of this will be falling in the next 48 hours. Uh, this will mostly be I'm happy to see light, at least some sort of color on the map here, but just light some light amount of rain. The uh, darker greens that you're seeing and the blues that gets you up closer to about half of an inch of rain. So up in the UNAs, that's where we're going to see the most precipitation over the next few days. St. George around 90 tomorrow. So enjoy the cool down 93 for Thursday, then about 100 degrees Saturday. So we start another heat wave close to 105 early next week. And for the Wasatch Trent, we have low 90s tomorrow, mid 80s for Thursday. Scattered thunderstorms possible and then into Friday morning. Same thing, 87 degrees on Friday and then 90s and triple digits next week.